Mets. Let's go Mets. How about the Mets? My name's Luigi. My mom told me that I've been saying let's go Mets since before I was one years old. Obviously I can't remember. But it is what it is. So it seems to me I've been a Mets fan for a long time. Even before I can remember, but I can remember watching the Mets with my dad when I was little. He was also a Yankees fan, but I never, you know, became a Yankees fan. But I've been liking the Mets for a long time. And I know a lot of you out there, you've been Mets fans since you were babies. Little boys, little girls. I'm Luigi, I don't know if I said my name. Um, I just wanted to upload a video, you know. As a fan, you know, just talking about the Mets and I don't know. Even even before the season began, you know, I started thinking to myself, I'm gonna stop up uploading videos because I know we're gonna have a pretty good season. We're gonna be in a battle for the playoffs. Did I think we were gonna be in first place at this moment? Nah, I, I thought the Nationals or the Marlins were gonna be battling for that, and we were just gonna, you know, be trying to creep up on them and you know battling with them. But wow, what a start! Anyway, reason I'm a Mets fan is because for some odd reason I always root for the underdog and the Mets fans. A lot of the Mets fans I've met out there are kind of like the same way. When you look at their teams, they're all pretty much underdog teams in all the major sports. Well, I can relate to that because that's how I am. And so when I saw the Yankees, you know, kind of winning in the 70s, you know, I was a little bored. But I remember, I remember Dad screaming in the living room. And the Mets, well, they sucked. <laughs> Big time. But then came 1983 kids started coming up, rumors of trades, minor league system, pretty much how it was last year. And then, you know, I just I just started rooting for the Mets even more. It was like, you know, also, sorry for the sunglasses. I'm down here in San Antonio, Texas. I've been here for a couple of years now. And it's, it's hot. And the sun is beaming down, you know, so another day I'll, I'll show my eyes some other day. Um, and I just started rooting for the Mets, 84, 85, you know, we came so close, you know. If it was now, you know, we would have qualified for the wild card spot, but it's not now, it wasn't now. And then 86 came, I think I saw every single game that year fighting with my mom because I didn't want to go to sleep and we would go extra innings. I love my Mets. I just wanted to share this with you all, you know. I love my Mets. I was born in Manhattan, raised in West New York, New Jersey. And I love them. It's just, you know, I, I get sad when they lose. I get happy when they win. You can all relate to that. You know where you can all relate to that. I'm a positive Mets fan, though. I always see the positive side. Whether or not they lose... I'll say to myself, hey, at least this guy went three for four. You know, that's good. Maybe he could get hot, go on a big hitting streak, and we could turn this around. You know, so I'm a positive Mets fan, whether we lose or not. It doesn't mean I don't get down. I love my team. And I love other teams, too, and I'll probably upload some of those videos talking about how I became a fan, you know. But like I said, I became a fan of the Mets because my father would watch both teams, Yankees and Mets. Yankees were winning and i never been a front runner. They had Reggie Jackson, Ron Guidry, you know. Nettles at third and the team was stacked. They were stacked. That was no fun. Now what it is fun is seeing your team turn it around. Yeah, from losers to winners. Let's go Mets. From losers to winner. You know. We might not win the division, we might not, you know, I don't know. But I'll tell you something, we got a good system, a good farm system, we got pitching, the fielding hasn't been so bad. I mean, this team looks competitive. And the Nationals are already behind and the Marlins are already behind, so they got some catching up to do. I'm having fun. 
We're going to go into losing streaks. It happens to every good team, even the 86 Mets. I remember them getting blown out and everything. It happens. Three, four, five straight games. But I can tell already that the spirit of this team, they're badass. Sorry for the badass. It's just that they are. I can tell. There's Flores and everybody. They just they just come together, pick each other up. This is it. Let's go for the ride. Let's, let's have some fun. Yes, I'm going to upload more videos. Yes, I'm going to do podcasts. I'm going all out. Website coming soon. LuigiBall.com. We're doing this. And I encourage all you people out there, fans, man, just upload videos. Right. Just, just, let's just connect. I just want to connect. That's what I want to do. I want to connect. My Facebook and my Twitter, that's, that's all I'm piling up is Mets fans and my other teams, which I'll talk about later. I'm just piling it up. Yeah, let's go. Let's just, I just want to have some fun. Let's have some fun. Come on, I bought a domain and a website, which I'm going to put up soon. I just want to have fun. I want to enjoy this season like I have never enjoyed a season in my life. Yes, every single game tonight, Jonathan Neese in Yankee Stadium. Let's do this. Oh, man, I'm so happy. I can, I can probably talk for an hour right now. I just want to hook up with other Mets fans. I'm down here in San Antonio, so this has to all be... You know, in a virtual type of way, you know, radio and social media, whatever, phone. But I'm gonna hook up with other Mets fans. Let's have some fun. Negativity, don't bring it my way. Don't bring it my way. Because I'm not gonna be negative. Don't bring it my way. Let's go, Mets. Here's my first video. I put it on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, different communities, Google Plus. We're going all out. Follow me. Let's do this. Let's let's get together. Let's have some fun. Let's talk all day, all night. Man, I don't care. Let's just let's get no sleep before we go to work. I don't know. Let's just do this. <laughs> let's have some fun. The Mets, let's enjoy every single game. Just enjoy it. Even the losses, enjoy them. Look at the bright spot. The kids that are coming up. Mats. Thor. Come on, we got, come on, Ploecki. <laughs> this is kids all over the Flores. Did I mention Flores? Wilmer Flores, leader in home runs, getting big hits, tying games up. What's that shortstop's name in Colorado? Psst. Come on, man. Forget about, what was his name? You know his name. Colorado, stop mentioning him. This is Wil Wilma Flores, shortstop. This is his team now. His position. Smooth operator. Come on. Let's go, Mets. This is Luigi. Follow me soon on LuigiBall.com. Website coming soon. I have friends out there. We're going to do this. We're going to be on the website together. We're going to hang out. We're just going to be talking. All right? See you later. Tonight, let's go Mets. Let's do this. See ya.